in your bedroom, all electronics can be charged. So I thought, well, it's, <laughs> it's the ultimate charging station in the bedroom. Everybody has all kinds of electronics, not just an iPad. So I just want to make sure this one works. <laughs> <laughs> Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you a brand new as seen on television product. Today we're trying Socket Shelf, the incredible new wall outlet expander. When I saw this, I thought, okay, two things in one, multi-purpose phone holder and charging station. There's never enough space for power outlets. That infomercial is telling you to put this in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your bedroom. And it's strong enough for any handyman's workbench. You can put your batteries for like your lawnmower or your blower or edger, whatever the hell you're using in the garage that you need to charge, you can put it on top of this little shelf. So when I was watching the infomercial, I discovered that they have three total infomercials for this thing. Three years they've tried to roll this thing out. <laughs> 2017, 2018, and now 2019. And there were some differences in these infomercials. I, this might turn into an exposed video. I got receipts and everything. Look, I'm rich Lux now. <laughs> Let me tell you some of the differences that I found in 2017. Six outlets, storage shelf, and two USB ports for just $29.99. So you could actually plug in eight items to this little box. And of course, you got your shelf on top for $29.99. The same as this year. So that hasn't changed. In 2017, when you purchased this, they were giving you a free little swivel plug. Bonus, you'll also get our mini swivel socket absolutely free. You can buy at the dollar store. But in 2017, they changed the design. You'll see in the infomercial, this thing was a swiveler. <laughs> the two or one of the sides, I think, not both, just one of the sides would swivel in case you had an outlet where it's like in a tight spot where you have to kind of swivel. You'll see it in the infomercial. This unique swivel design lets you plug in any device at different angles to maximize space. That design is no longer. The 2019 infomercial does not show that. And this one here also does not have that feature. So they took that away, which I thought was genius. Now let's talk about 2018, because things got weird. Eight outlets, two USBs, built-in shelf, and surge protection is just $19.99. They dropped the price by $10. In 2018, it was no longer a swivel. In 2018, this thing had eight plugs instead of the six and two USB connections. So a total of 10 devices could be plugged into it. In 2018, they took away the free little dollar store swivelly thing that they were giving away. And in 2018, they took away the little swivel design. 2017 model of this thing had the swivel. If you have it, you have the original limited edition. <laughs> it might be valuable. Take it to the pawn shop. This is the newest, most improved version of this thing the 2019. With six outlets and two USB ports. No swivel, nothing for free, back to $29.99. Low price of just $29.99. And someone took away some of my plugs because in 2018 for $19.99, this thing had eight plug connectors. Now there's only six. What's going on here? What happened? <laughs> now, what I did love about the infomercial is the little shelf on top. Socket Shelf's built-in storage shelf keeps all your electronics safe, organized, and fully charged. Because in the kitchen, yes. In the bathroom, yes. In the bedroom, yes. Everywhere. I think everybody can use a little shelf everywhere. There was a couple of things that made me go, mm, that's not, no, that's not convenient. I don't think you can put this everywhere. And I don't think that that many things can fit on it. That's what I'm here to test with you guys. How many things are really gonna fit on this shelf? And when you plug it into the wall, is it really as convenient as it looks in that infomercial? So here is our handy shelf. It's actually not bad quality. It's not cheapy cheap, but it is plastic. They're saying that this thing, when it's in the wall, it will hold 10 pounds. <laughs> for $29.99, that's what I paid for this thing. Expectations are like up there on the roof. Nah, uh, 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 uh. 
Listen, I can get this at Home Depot for like, I don't know, $8.99, right? And then I can just buy a little shelf for the top. Just physically touching it and looking at it, I'm gonna say, uh, no, way overpriced. It has a screw right there in the middle. I guess if you wanna screw it into place. I purchased one of these years ago. Now it did not have the plugs in the front. It only had the plugs on the side and I paid $9 for it. Let me show it to you. Here it is here. This one has the plugs on the side because I have a desk that is covering up my damn wall plug so I need to have the plugs on the side. So I thought it was a cute idea. As you can see, I purchased one of these. This one is actually called, I thought it was called the side socket. Yeah, I think it's the side socket. It's also an as seen on television product. I thought they were the same company. They might be. This is called the side socket and this is called socket shelf. Are they the same people? Maybe. The only difference is that this guy has nothing in the front and it does not have USB connectors, but it has three plugs on each end. So for an extra two little USBs at the bottom and a little plastic shelf, I wonder if it fits this guy. I'm paying an extra 20 bucks. No, sir. I don't know if they are the same company, but the quality feels almost identical. It looks like someone returned this. I know they didn't, it was new. You guys just saw me unpack it, but whoever packed it must have used it to charge their phone or something. I don't know, but it is dirty. Can y'all wipe some shit down before y'all pack it? Because that's just tackiness. $29.99, I expect high quality stuff from you guys. At least clean shit. So let's put this little shelf on. All the hype is about this damn shelf. So let's put it on to see what it's all about. And if I'm gonna love it. Why can I not put it in? It has like a little opening there that you're supposed to slide it in. Listen, socket shelf folks. Your infomercial said no installation required. How silly is that? No installation required. Just plug it in to power it up. Come on, take that shit out your infomercial. You sound real silly. Like that's a benefit. You plug that shit in. That's what you should have said. Not no installation required. People are not stupid. Just plug in. That's all you have to say. I'm following the directions. Oh, got it. <laughs> Do they say how big this built in? in <laughs> Another thing that I was like, okay, cheese balls, take that shit out. I'm gonna rewrite your infomercial because some of the stuff you say, I'm like, the fuck, the fuck out of here. And a built in storage shelf. Close your eyes. If I say storage shelf, is this what you imagine? No, this is just a shelf not a storage shelf. Storage means you're locking it away, right? I'm thinking like a U-Haul. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of warnings. <laughs> we can throw this away now. There's no instructions to this because no installation required, folks. You just plug this shit in, okay? It's really easy. So, we should plug it in. I'm interested on the shelf on top. I already have this. I just wanted a little shelf on top. We can all DIY this shit right here, okay? So far, it's way, this should be $9.99. The shelf should be the free thing you throw in, right? Brag about this, this you throw in, $9.99. $29.99 for $29.99, hills to the no. Let's see what it looks like on the wall. Ta-da! <laughs> There it is on the wall, it's kinda cute. I do like the idea. Listen, I wouldn't have purchased this for $30 if I hated it. The idea is cute because I hate putting my phone on the floor. It has a little light there that turns green when it's plugged in so that you know it is on. I brought some things up so that we can put on our little shelf to see what it's gonna look like, how many things are really gonna fit on here. So I have my iPad here they're putting it on <laughs> why am i nervous i feel like shit's gonna fall off in my room the plug that i use to charge my phone is kind of far and on the floor so oh this would be great when you're traveling right 
on a cruise <laughs> because you don't have to put your shit on the floor. You have a little shelf. I don't know about TSA allowing you to bring this through, but I think it's a cute idea for a cruise. Let's put on my little AirPods. They fit. Now let's plug in some items. This one I'm curious about. I have gazillions of these plugged in everywhere for my cameras. Let's see. <laughs> what? Let's try from this side just in case. No. Okay, so the four plugs on the sides, you cannot charge things like this. So you only have two here in the front. And do you just see what I noticed? If you have these camera charging boxes, you're shit out of luck. If you use it on the top one, it's covering the bottom one. If you use it on the bottom one, it's covering up the USB. If you flip it over, you're covering up the top and on the top, you can't because of the shelf. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Now this one, let's see. Oh, that one's perfect. That one's gonna give you an extra USB connector right there. We've just upgraded this thing. <laughs> they should have thrown one of these in, huh? There is a part of the infomercial that they also say in your bedroom, all electronics can be charged. So I thought, well, <laughs> it's the ultimate charging station in the bedroom. Charge all your electronics at the same time. Everybody has all kinds of electronics, not just an iPad. So I just want to make sure this one works. <laughs> you might want to give yourself a facial right before bed. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't get on my prayers list now. Don't take a left turn. It's for your face. Dirty. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. <laughs> Let me show you. This is from the Wish app. Do you hear it? Ooh. <laughs> so, listen, I don't know what you're thinking. If you're thinking something, you just rub it like that. <laughs> but if you're done for the night on your face, you just put it there like that. And then, the next night, you can use it again <laughs> every night. I don't know how often you're supposed to use it, but look. Now it can sit right next to your bed <laughs> on your little socket shelf. Have I changed my mind about the price? Hell no. So for electronics, I'm going to say cute. The shelf works. It's holding quite a few items. Now some bathroom items, right? I think most people are going to use it in the bathroom, especially if you don't have a lot of counter space. The handy shelf gives you extra space where you need it most. Perfect for pedestal sinks. I think this is cute for the bathroom if things fit, right? Because if you have a lot of shit, useless. But it's a pretty good size, I think. So I got here some stuff. I did not think all this would fit. I did not. And your toothbrush. In the infomercial, they show the kid with the iPad and all kinds of shit on there while they're brushing your teeth. No. Use in the bathroom to keep kids' countertops clean and everything at their fingertips. But I guess you could. But look at that. Okay, I'm making their product look really good. I'm kind of liking it. But it's way overpriced, man. Knock that shit down and you're going to sell a lot of them. We need to check Amazon because I think Amazon might sell something similar for cheap. For $29.99, hell no. But for $9.99, I might get a couple. You know, one for every bathroom, one for the bedroom, one for my electronics, <laughs> one for my facial devices that I use. <laughs> and I still have plenty of room. What else can I put up there? Look, there's plenty of room to keep adding shit. See? So I'm gonna say the shelf space <laughs> the storage shelf space is pretty good. Now we're only gonna call it storage if it had doors. If it doesn't have doors, we're not gonna call it storage. We're just gonna call it a shelf. Now the inf <laughs> now the infomercial is real funny with the lady all tangled up. Stop wrestling with those tangled, messy wires. Is that your house? I want you to raise your hand in the comments and tell me if that's your life. Nobody has about 37 tangled up electronics. I mean. I might be living under a rock. Let me know if that's your situation because we're gonna put you on a list. <laughs> I don't know what kind of list, but there's gotta be some kind of help for you. <laughs> there's gotta be an 800 number, somebody we can call 
to assist you. Now I got some things from the kitchen. Seasonings and things. Now here's the thing about the kitchen one, you guys. Depending on how high your plug is and how low or how high your cabinets are, this might not work in the kitchen because in the infomercial, they're showing the lady getting like a little pack of something from underneath and literally this was right under their cabinet they couldn't even see it use the built-in shelf for all your spices for the mock-up y'all could have lowered that shit so it looked a little bit better <laughs> let me show you what i mean i got props folks i got <laughs> i got a shelf <laughs> this is the only shelf i have for it's a visual for those that need a visual okay so let's pretend this is why is my shit so big? Let me show you. Wait. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See? If your cabinet is here, you might have a problem. That's not a lot of space. If your cabinet is here, wonderful. Congratulations. It's going to work out for you. Add extra power and storage in the kitchen. Electronics stay safe and off the counters during food prep. We'll go into the kitchen and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. But for now, Let's just put some stuff on the shelf. Look at that, we got the family size uh, adobo there. We have some season, oh my God, you guys. This stuff, I'm addicted. Buffalo Wild Wings, girl. Salt and vinegar, I put it on everything. Do you see what I mean with the cabinets being too low? If you have this Sam's Club size of Goya adobo, then might not fit on your shelf. But if you got other regular sized items, they're probably gonna fit really nicely under there. Do you think mugs will fit on there? Here's my mug. You could put this right next to your coffee maker. Okay, listen, the price is killing me, Smalls, but I like it. What about my mason jar? Yes, it also fits. Let's put them together. Vivian heads all around. Don't buy it for $29.99, that's a rip. I want to go ahead and take it into the kitchen so that I can see if it's going to fit under my cabinets. In the kitchen, keep everything plugged in and counters clutter free. Socket shelf locks securely in place to any outlet, guaranteeing any item on the shelf stays safe. it is now plugged back into my wall and I have a few things plugged in so you guys can get a visual of what it looks like when everything is plugged in and remember a second ago when I was laughing talking about the tangled mess we still have the tangled mess here here you're gonna have quite a few cords and they're still gonna be kind of floating all over the place we really didn't solve anything as far as how many wires something that's very interesting when i plugged in my phone this thing started making a noise listen you might be able to hear it it's making a weird noise only so far when i've plugged in my phone if i unplug it the noise stops now this is plugged in and when i turn it on It's not making the noise. Let's plug in my AirPods. No noise from the AirPods. Let's try the iPad. It's making the noise. That would be annoying as hell if this was plugged in right next to my bed and that's what I heard all night. In the kitchen, it was beautiful. My adobo fit right under the counter. I had enough space between the counter and the actual little shelf. I was in love in my kitchen. But when I went into the bathroom, you guys, it was love until we got to the mouthwash. When I placed it right in the middle of the shelf, I was nervous, but it held it. When I put it on either side of the shelf, the shelf definitely moved like this. So imagine if your kids are loading one side of this thing. If kids start piling things on one side, this might not fall, but the products could slip off. And if you have an electronic that slips off this thing, I'm gonna say, let's just keep the electronics out of the bathroom. 
because it kind of did scare me when I put the mouthwash on there and this thing kind of wobbled a little bit. I wasn't afraid of this thing falling over, but I was afraid if this tilted enough that the bottle would fall off. Now just looking at it on camera, this setup kind of makes me nervous. I don't want all these wires that close to certain things, especially in a bathroom. I'm gonna use mine in the bedroom for charging phones, iPads, anti-aging devices, things like that, but I don't think I would put this in my bathroom. Now thinking about it, I would put seasonings on it in the kitchen because if those fell off, they're not gonna cause a lot of damage, but coffee mugs, maybe not so much. I'm gonna keep it in a place where if something drops, I'm not too concerned about it. One more thing that I noticed in the bathroom is when I filled the shelf up to the max, the little shelf kind of moved forward and I could not push it flat against the wall. That also made me nervous. So for the price of $29.99, I'm gonna say pass. If you can find it for a little cheaper or if you can find something similar that's about 10 bucks, I think it would be worth it. I'm sure there's something on Amazon similar to it that is way less, but I do think it's a cute idea. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the socket shelf two Vivian heads. So I thought it would be fun at the end of my videos now to include some of your questions that you guys ask me sometimes in comments, sometimes on Instagram, sometimes in Insta stories. So I'm gonna answer a few of your questions here today. Why are you so MF funny? And I got a copper pan because of you in love. You guys know I laugh at my own jokes, but I just think that they're just silly. <laughs> but you guys seem to enjoy them, so thank you for thinking that I'm funny. Have you ever reviewed a product that afterward hurt you? No, because there would have been a follow-up video. I would have definitely told you guys about that. Are you gonna create more weekly content? Yes, I'm always trying to figure a way to bring you guys more videos. Can you please do reviews with a Jedi in them? Yes. I actually have two products that I have planned with Jedi. Hopefully he cooperates. You know, he's a diva. What's your favorite show? I don't watch television very much, but when I do, there are two shows that I watch. 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> because that's a train wreck and Naked and Afraid. Those are the only shows that I watch on television. I really don't watch a lot of TV. Any more videos in Spanish? I might do an Insta story here and there in Spanish, but right now I don't have any planned. Can you come to St. Louis and hang out with me? <laughs> of course. Did you ever visit Canada? I have not. I have been at Niagara Falls, so I've been very close to Canada, but I have actually not been, but it's on my to-do list. Does the blue diamond pan still perform well? I wanna know because I wanna get one for my mom for Christmas. I still love it. The handle does get hot, but the actual pan is still perfect. When are you going to review the Diva Cup? You'd be hilarious to see review this. <laughs> Never, I can't. I can't with the Diva Cups. I know a lot of you guys swear by them. It's just not me. No, I, no. <laughs> I absolutely don't ever think I would consider that. Does your husband laugh at you as much as you do? You're a hoot. <laughs> yes, my husband thinks I cray cray, but he does laugh. He steals a lot of my jokes. I tell him to don't steal my jokes. How about joining us on a paranormal investigation whenever you are in Vegas? Oh, I'm scary. I'll go, but I'm scary. <laughs> I love your Vivian Tries videos. You're hilarious and not bad on the eyes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you try the grill bot? I haven't heard of the grill bot. I'll have to look it up, but is it new? Is it old? I haven't heard of it. How many products have you ordered from Wish? A gazillion. I don't even know how many. I've never really counted, but a lot. I have an addiction problem. So that is it. I hope that you guys 
enjoyed that Q&A here at the end of this video. If you have, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want me to continue questions. Now, these questions were for my Insta stories that you guys left me a little while back, but I thought I would go ahead and include them. Next time I might pull from the actual comments in a video, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So leave me a question either here on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever you'd like, and it might be included in a future video. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I gotta go. Dinner's ready.